Procedures to be followed when unberthing in different wind conditions. Unberthing with wind. Wind during unberthing operations could either assist in the maneuver or make it more difficult. Unberthing with offshore wind. She can be eased bodily off the quay by slacking on her fore and aft lines, or her after lines are let go and the wind catches her stern and she opens her stern. After the stern has opened up by about 40 degrees, the breast line let go, engines reversed. The stern will back up into the wind. This can be checked by going ahead on the engine with inboard helm. Unberthing with onshore wind. A tug's assistance will be required to clear the berth. Single up to two breast lines in a tideway, keep the after spring. Use the anchor forward to heave the bow away from the berth, if an anchor has been used when berthing with a tug aft to pull the stern clear. If no anchor has been used, Use tugs forward and aft to clear the vessel away from the berth. Unberthing with wind on the quarter. The ship must be singled up to a line and spring fore and aft. Let go all lines aft. Heave on the headline or with the spring, Good line, tight. Give DS ahead on the engine with inboard helm, so that the wind comes in between the ship and the wharf. This may be difficult, and if so, employ a tug to swing out the stern. With the angle between the stern and the wharf about 40 degrees, larger for port hand berth, let go headline and go astern on the engine. Let go spring only after vessel gathers sternway. The vessel will straighten out as she swings into the wind's eye. Unberthing with wind on the bow. Single up to a line and a spring fore and aft. Let go all lines forward. Use outboard helm, DS ahead on engine with stern line tight aft to get the wind between the ship and the wharf. Once this is done, vessel will drift clear of the berth, let go stern line. Let go after spring after the vessel has gathered headway. Calm the vessel to the required heading after she leaves the berth. 